Hello, everyone. I'm Sign One News anchor Jethro Woodall. Here's a quick look at the top trending stories making headlines today. If you post an interesting comment during this update, we may add it at the bottom of the screen. So let's get right into what's happening in the news today. Health officials say the Delta variant could be weeks away from becoming the most dominant variant in the world. That is why world leaders are working together to ramp up global vaccine distribution. Right now, less than 11% of people around the world are fully vaccinated. In the United States, 46% of people have been fully vaccinated. Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, Arkansas, and Wyoming, however, are among the states with the lowest vaccination rates. And health officials are concerned those regions could have very dense COVID outbreaks. The search and rescue effort at the site of the Surfside Florida condo collapse is entering its sixth day. And time is of the essence to find any possible survivors at this point. The death toll rose to 11. 150 people are still missing. And the last time rescue crews pulled a survivor from the wreckage was the same day the building collapsed six days ago which means families are beginning to recognize a sobering reality that their loved ones may be gone. Monday evening, tropical storm Danny made landfall just north of Hilton Head, South Carolina. But even though it then weakened to a tropical depression and didn't do much damage, tropical storm warnings are still in place for parts of the South Carolina coastline. And it could bring up to three inches of rain in southern South Carolina and southeastern Georgia enough to be a possible flash flood threat. Well, this is 4th of July weekend and AAA says, sorry, dog hair, anyway. AAA says more than 43 million Americans will hit the road this 4th of July weekend. And if you're one of them, it might be tough to find gas. A shortage of Tank truck drivers, along with the pandemic-related travel surge, is causing 
supply chain bottlenecks. It's also causing supply chain shortages. And a number of areas are already reporting gas shortages. Including the Pacific Northwest and Northern California. Do you plan on traveling this 4th of July? Let me know, I'm curious. Hallmark just announced its new sign and send technology. People can create their own cards complete with handwritten messages and all by phone. Hallmark takes the personal message and puts it together as a physical card which is stamped and sent to the recipient at no additional charge. On a December day, 56-year-old Peter Marshall proposed to Lisa while cuddling on the couch. But what he did not realize is that they already got married 12 years ago. Peter has Alzheimer's and often forgets Lisa is his wife. But nothing can stop true love, not even memory loss. So when he proposed again, Lisa agreed and says, she's the luckiest girl in the world to have Peter fall in love with her twice. Now that's a love story. All right, let's wrap up today's news update with a massive dose of aww. Ready? Aww. This is four month old Zane Cahan of Florida the chief growing officer and new spokesbaby for Gerber Baby Food. Zane won this year's Gerber Baby Photo Contest. He will be the official taste tester for baby food products and will receive a $25,000 cash prize. All right. Let's say it all together. One, two, three. Aww. And that's all for today. Sign One News will be broadcasting live updates Monday through Friday. Then this Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, Join us for a live panel of diverse guests to discuss the hot topics of the week. Again, be sure to post your thoughts and comments at any time during any of the live shows. We might even share your comment. A big thank you to our Sign One News app subscribers. You help make this broadcast happen. You can download the Sign One News app by heading to the App Store or Google Play Store on your smartphone. You can also watch on Apple TV, Apple Watch, 
Amazon, and Roku. I think I want to see a picture of that adorable baby again. Aww.